Thank you very much. Uh, morning, guys. Uh, so, as you know, uh, I'm Bikum Dias. So, I would like to uh, introduce myself because some of them know, some of them don't know. So, my formative education, I migrated uh, from Sri Lanka originally. So, I came to UK around 2000, end of 2009 time period uh, to complete my higher studies. So, I got a scholarship to come to UK actually around 2009 uh, from the Commonwealth Scholarship Scheme. So I came to University of Staffordshire around end of 2009 and I completed my degree around 2010 time period uh, from business IT uh, in Staffordshire University. After that, uh, I um, get into the UK workforce around end of 2010, 2011 time period, a company called Labracar Debra uh, as a web developer to develop their website. So it's, it's actually, <coughs> uh, similar to the your company, something like that. Uh, they doing something like toys and the different uh, leaflets and that type of thing. And after that, uh, I joined for the company called Medsec PLC. They are the one who done some part of the Olympic Stadium in uh, Olympic uh, in London and Staffordshire. Uh, they are the one who done the roof. So at that stage, I just need to provide the information to the media what they actually do it uh, in real time. So then I just joined for the prime time TV uh, as a web app engineer, which means uh, they are the one who broadcast the uh, American fight in the UK and the Ricky Hatton. And at that stage, I need to do the, that's the early stage of the website. Actually, people try to stream uh, through the web devices and the mobile devices. Uh, then I joined for the channel five. <clears throat> uh, so at that stage, uh, I just need to do the Pepper Pig application. Uh, that's the that's the one of the main thing that they have done, and they they try to come to the IPTV, which is similar to the Skybox that you are using at home. So develop that type of applications. Uh, do I do I a little bit techy in here, or can you guys is that? So I just try to demonstrate a very simple way. And after that, I joined for the uh, as a head of web development and a project manager it's like both roles around 2015 2009 northern shell uh it's it's the part of the okay magazine uh, channel 5 as well and the different uh, uh, publishers as well they have done so i just manage uh, that services then uh, i changed my career totally from the website to as a financial services i joined for street uk services which is in the birmingham around 2019 2022 time period uh, I joined as IT manager, then I just promoted the CTO. Then uh, due to the economic crisis, uh, it, it's uh, redundant me. And after that, I thought, what, uh, what should I need to do? So there are two options. I just can join for the workforce, but I thought I better to start my own company, something like that, the services that I can provide for the uh, different sectors. So then the Leo 24 started around last year, August time period. Uh, so I am doing now contract jobs from the Leo 24 and uh, provide uh, different services. So I will go with uh, you some of the case studies that I have done on the Leo 24. So apart from this one, uh, so I now have a, a daughter as well. She's like four years old. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm playing cricket as well in the Dunchurch Cricket Club now. So that's quite uh, uh, interesting. Uh, yeah, so quite getting injured as well, usually. <laughs> so next thing is... So we providing uh, software solutions. So basically, uh, we providing the services in uh, UK market, USA, and the uh, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is the way where the, I have all the technical people, the developers as well. And the, we, I have clients in the USA, uh, not in UK at the moment, but I'm trying to get the UK. So it's, there's still discussions going on that market. And we have few clients in the Australian market as well. So that is the way uh, we are planning to uh, move on this company in the future as well. So then the, the services that we are providing is we're providing uh, Leo24 basically started uh, those who are needs to develop these box of the application, which means normally what people doing is they just Google it based on their pain point and they purchase over the shelf product. Once they purchase the over the shelf product, 
sometimes it won't uh, provide the solution that they need. So what actually I thought is try help them to develop bespoke software application based on their pain points. So we providing tailored web solutions, which is running on your web browser and data science as a service and the dashboard and analytics. Uh, natural language processing means when you provide in, uh, try to understand based on the artificial intelligence and machine learning, something like that, and processing those type of languages and provide a decision based on your thinking patterns. So one of the project uh, that we have done for one of the client is the analyze the sentimentals of, on Twitter, which is when you somebody try to put aggressive things on your social media, either it's a Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, <coughs> TikTok. So in this scenario, <coughs> the client need to understand what his, uh, his uh, end users uh, writing on his, uh, the product. So as example, <coughs> we need to develop something like track those information and pull that information and show that one something like admin dashboard. So then user can monitor that one, okay, these persons will be writing on these type of thing, something like that. So it's something like <coughs> uh, data extractions we are talking about, something like when people need to block that specific person, they can go and block that person in the Twitter. So this is uh, done for a <coughs> uh, for a one of the sporting uh, client. Uh, he's uh, he needs to track his uh, Twitter feeds. So that is the way that we done this project. Uh, next one is the check. Skip correctly. Yeah. Next one is done for the Melbourne City Council, actually. We've done the part of this project. Uh, this is one of the big projects that we have done. So what they need to do is uh, when they need to uh, track, the, they need to provide a service to their Melbourne City Council people, something like analyze the traffic, uh, not real time, in advance. As example, if you need to go uh, a journey tomorrow, how's the traffic based on the data which is taken from the Google, something like that. And after that, providing that data visualization to the one of the areas for the client, which means users like us, if you are in the Melbourne and other parties for the, the council members who are in the MC, the traffic units, something like that. So then they can move the traffic to the different places so they can reduce the number of um, speed in line, something like that. If, if, if we go like 70 miles per hour, they can reduce that one. So it's like something like real-time efficient traffic management system be done for the uh, Melbourne City Council. So other one is for the, this is for the dashboard that done for the Street UK services. This is a LinkedIn company. So the previously what happened is uh, users needs to call for the call center and uh, they need to pay the, the loan balance or check the areas or specific default notices, that type of information. So then it's a, it's a like a big volume come to the call center. So what we've done is we just develop a self-service portal uh, to the user. So users can log in themselves and they can do the regular payments and they uh, uh, view the balance and do the payments as well and set up the direct debits as well. So that type of services we have provided. And the other thing is the senior management needs to uh, visualize uh, this uh, uh, information in the, it will come for a second, visualizing uh, how many users registered the portal. So we develop a, like a business intelligent dashboard uh, based on the information. The next one is something like the, uh, uh, it's something like the company called uh, NKI. It's like a, a what you call the education platform that we have developed for the one of the clients. So they, so students will come uh, and register for the classes and the online portal, something like that. And the the admin who needs to understand whether mentor and mentee has a quite good relationship, whether mentor will provide the correct lessons to the mentee as well, uh, because you have seen a lot of education platform is there, but somebody needs to monitor that one correctly. So that is the information that we have uh, provided. These are the new technologies nowadays. Um, how many guys heard about the blockchain, something like that? So these are the 
uh, cryptocurrency environment, uh, which is provided to the one of the uh, Singapore company. Uh, so this person needs to understand uh, how the their cryptocurrency wallet is working. So based on that one, so they, we will provide in the what type of cryptocurrencies they are, what type of cryptocurrency that they can trade. So what Bitcoin is the one of the cryptocurrency, but there's a lot of cryptocurrency in the market as well. Uh, the next one is uh, something like for the manufacturing sector. This is done, so you, uh, when the COVID time period comes, users are unable to go to the office and do the manufacturing stuff. So what will happen is they have a like robotic car. So through the robotic car, what the, basically what you need to do is take up, down, left, right, and take the angles. How can move the arms remotely? So what we've done is we create a dashboard. Uh, so they provide all the information to us. We create a dashboard and the normal user, end user, can control that arm from home rather than going to the office. So that's a quite uh, big game changer for at that stage. But nowadays, I mean, the companies like uh, MTC, they're doing this one regularly basis, a lot of workforce uh, working from home and they don't need to come to the office. It's something like a joystick that you can uh, use it from home. Uh, next one is, uh, yeah, so this is another technology nowadays uh, we are using uh, called uh, NFT. NFT images means something like, that's the next level of the, the computer uh, revolution world, something like if you provide the imagination that you are thinking, this is type of image that I need. So in this scenario, we will provide interface for the user. So user will provide this is this type of image I need. So then once they type the information that they need, it will generate through the computer uh, generate image. So it's something like called NFT image generation projects, uh, uh, images. So it, it will integrate with artificial intelligence uh, uh, based on the information. So that is the way now world is moving. So some people will draw that one and some people will do that one through the text-based images and image will automatically generate it. Uh, those are the main applications uh, we have done. Uh, so yeah, so uh, I will go very quickly. So other ones we've done some mobile applications for the different companies. Uh, this is for the one of the solar system company that we have done. And the other one is, uh, this is the, uh, give one second, uh, let me show you. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, education system platform uh, that we have done for a, specifically for the NKI Connect. So the previous dashboard that I have shown you, that's for the admin panel, uh, which who is monitor with the mentor will provide, uh, if you're calling about coach, will provide the correct lessons to the students or the mentees. So you have like real time chat and different services has provided. And the uh, this is for the solar system uh, company that we have done. So the once they go to the field, something like that, uh, they no, they no need to take the paper document. They can upload straight away to the cloud the quotations and the what type of job cards that they need to do. Uh, this is something like the uh, a platform that we developed for the Australia. So there's a, a small uh, like a county in the Australia called uh, uh, this name, and uh, they need to. Uh, uh, provide the services like mobile lab before they come to the parks on that area uh, something like they can book in advance the like the barbecue space or parking base different amenities and the where's the wi-fi is available so they can check that information and even the ev charging availabilities as well so those are the main case studies we have done and the recently one of the projects that we have done uh, the open banking that is the i think the big game changer uh, for the financial service sector because the way the, currently the mortgages are provided through the credit score uh, and the address proof but the credit score doesn't make any sense because it's provided the positive and the negative scenario. So the way we have done is now in the future what will happen is uh, just providing the uh, uh, sending an email to the user okay please log into the uh, your bank account so it's a secure way so once you logged in, you will pull that information and bank will display the data 
uh, to the uh, the decision maker to take the decision what is the best way that they need to take. So as example, it has different categories, income, expenditure, and the debt. So you can categorize what is your benefits, general uh, income, pension, and the, even the expenditures as well, where you uh, spend a lot of money. This is the one of the platform that we have developed uh, for the Street UK services. Uh, and the through this information, uh, you can take the correct decisions and even the uh, lending companies and who provide in the loans as well, they can provide the different uh, APR percentages uh, rather than providing same APR for everybody. So based on your expenditures and the income, uh, you have the different status. So that's what uh, I would like to mention and thank you very much.